engineering design so in all the fields of engineering we have to design a product or a system that is you can imagine first time how they would have come up with a design of a computer or even a calculator then we have these mobile devices or you can imagine a microprocessor so these are few examples of the engineering design and how do we come up with this engineering design so first of all there is a need in the society let's say there are two points in in a geographical location and there is a stream flowing between these two points so we want to connect there is a traffic flow or people want to move across these two points so we want to connect these two points so that is the need of the society now based upon that we'll try to build a bridge between these two points now for doing that first of all we'll have to see what type of rocks or what type of supports are available how strong are these then what type of bridge we can go for so if we imagine how it would have happened some long time ago so based upon these needs and based upon the available bad rock and the support condition someone would have come up with this arch bridge or someone would have come up with the cable suspension bridge so this is how the basic engineering design is conceived so if we want to write a definition here for engineering design so we can say engineering design is to synthesize something new or to arrange existing things in a new way to satisfy the recognized need of the society so here it says engineering design is to synthesize something new that is all together we are coming up with something new or there are some existing things but we are arranging them in a new or creative way so that it satisfy the recognized need of the society this part is very important here we we cannot design anything randomly which does not serve any purpose in the society and call it as engineering design so there is a purpose based upon the society or the need of the society and the design when it comes into picture it serves that purpose so that is a very basic and important deciding factor here so if we talk about the requirements of a good design then it consists of two things that is analysis and synthesis so first of all we have to do the analysis that is if we talk about this particular bridge then we'll have to see how these different parts of the bridge how these piers or how if cables are there or this deck is there what are the forces what are the stresses in these different parts that will consist of the analysis part of this bridge then the synthesis part in the synthesis part we have to understand how these parts should be interconnected so that we get the desired design or the purpose for which we are doing this is served then there is something given that is called as the four c's of design if we want to break down the design or a good design then we can define it with the help of these four c's that is first one is creativity then there is complexity then there will be choice and compromise so first one is creativity so creativity we can say for a good design it requires the creation of creation of something new that has not existed before or it has not existed before in the mind of the designer then complexity so there will be many variables and there will be many parameters which have to be understood in the design so that will define its complexity so we'll have to make the decisions on these parameters on the variables and different parameters then choice so in case of a design as i said it starts with a problem in the society now to solve this problem it is not necessary that there can be only single design there will be many alternatives so there are many alternatives so we have to select between these alternatives 
what is best suitable for the conditions and that will also come under the basics of a good design so we can say it requires making choices between many possible solutions or between many possible alternatives then the last one is compromise so in case of design one aspect what we can think of in compromise is the economy that is we cannot spend as much money as possible we have to minimize the expenditure also and and at the same time we have to serve the purpose of the design also so that is one aspect apart from that there can be many conflicting requirements in case of a design so keeping all those things in mind we'll have to reach at the optimized solution so there this compromise will also come in our design so we can say it requires balancing multiple and sometimes conflicting requirements also